Hey, Stanley. Yes, Stuart. What's a unicorn's favorite kind of story? Um, I don't know. What's a unicorn's favorite type of story? A fairy tale. <laughs> Hello, I'm Allie, the literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I read. Today, I will be rescuing my favorite unicorn slippers, Stanley and Stuart, while I tell you about the Bailey twins from Chris Colfer's The Land of Stories. Alex and Connor Bailey are fraternal twins with opposing personalities. Alex is a very serious student who is always first to raise her hand in class. Connor is most often discovered with his head down and snoring in class. Their father tragically lost his life in a car accident, leaving their mother to raise them on their own. Their grandmother, their father's mother, remains a distant part of their lives. For the twins' birthday, she presents them with a very old book which contains all of the fairy tales their father used to read to them as children. While Connor tries to act like this is a dumb gift, Alex feels a strong connection to her father when holding this book. That night, Alex takes the book to her room, and light begins to come from inside of the book. She freaks out and tries to show her brother, but she ends up falling into the book. Connor, of course, has to rescue her and jumps in after her. They land smack dab in the middle of a world that neither one of them is familiar with. Very quickly, they realize that all of the stories in the book are real, but this world isn't the happy, perfect place you would expect. Events that happened prior to their arrival have led to some very famous people being not at all what you'd expect. Goldilocks is a fugitive running from the pack of wolves previously led by the Big Bad Wolf. The Evil Queen was much closer to killing Snow White than we've ever been led to believe, and now has escaped her prison. As Connor and Alex try to figure out their way home, they make friends with Froggy and Jack, and get to know Mother Goose and her gander Lester, who may be the best dynamic duo that this crazy story has. It's revealed that the only thing that will help Alex and Connor get back home just happens to be exactly what the Evil Queen is after, the wishing spell. Will they be able to achieve this quest before she does? Will they ever make it back home to their mother? And why did they end up in a magical world in a book once owned by their father? And this is just the very first book. Each book is its own adventure, but it does have unique relationships with the characters and develops the world in a really fun and unique way. I really love the way that the final book tied everything together too. It put a big smile on my face. Okay, let's discuss. What's your favorite fairy tale or nursery rhyme? Let me know down in the comments. In the Land of Stories, Cornelius is a magical unicorn that befriends and helps Alex in her journey. He is not the typical unicorn, though. Due to a tragic accident when he was little, his horn was broken, which led to being bullied by the other unicorns and head down a downward path of depression and loneliness. His friendship with Alex has really helped establish his self-esteem. And this is one of my favorite parts of the story. Friendships heal. And now I am healing Stanley and Stuart. I didn't name them that. They told me those were their names, and I swear by that. It's true. I give this series an overall four stars. It's so much fun and well put together adventure. I'm not sure it's one that I will go back and reread, but I highly recommend it to any young reader who loves adventure stories. It's honestly a really good jumping off point to get kids to want to read. It was a major game changer for my daughter. The characters are so incredibly lovable with just enough of a twist to keep you interested in them all. Pick it up if you want a light and fun adventure. If you love a good twisted fairy tale or my Stanley and Stuart unicorn slippers, give this video a thumbs up.
Stanley and Stuart would like to formally invite you to the Literary Sewist Book Club over on Facebook. Each month we pick one book to buddy read together and we chat about all the other books we're reading in the meantime. So I'll leave links in the description below for you. Come on over and join us. And since you're still here, pop on over here for some more of my book inspired sewing projects and even some sewing tutorials. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness. If you ring the bell, you'll be notified every time there's a new video uploaded. See you next time.